It has a number of benefits. First of all, we're able to look at the expertise with individual clubs who've gone through various development stages and they can help support the smaller clubs or the clubs who haven't gone through that stages to actually develop themselves. And also it actually increases the knowledge around the county so that county are very much aware um, of what's available for them and how we're actually going to move forward in the future. And everyone's got brilliant ideas and I think having the network it means people will share their best practices and come up with really good ideas. You know, if a club's got a good idea we can share that with the other clubs so actually there's probably less work that's done around because people are sort of sharing and networking with each other. For instance, a Heart Sports Partnership. As clubs, we're able to go to them and actually access welfare courses, first aid courses, but also link into their great knowledge about how to develop sport in general and to look at planning events with them. Um, if we then look at another, a new one that we're bringing along, which is the North Hearts College, they are developing their sports area. They have a certain amount of funding for coaching courses and for officials courses. But more importantly, they're actually getting a lot of youngsters between that magic age of 16 to 23 that we're being able to go along to and develop and work with them and putting our coaches into their college and working in a true partnership to see us grow the number of athletes of that age group. Um, one of the things we're looking at at the moment is our club structures. We had a meeting about a month ago and um, the main thing we got out of it were all the different club structures and other clubs took away from that meeting ideas they can then sort of put into their own club to try and develop it further. So I suppose. Stevens and North Hearts implemented a club induction evening a couple of years back, which now the rest of the network have taken on as a standardised practice across the McCain's Hertfordshire County Athletics Network. How has that made a difference to the athletes, the parents, the club in general? Um, it's made an enormous difference to the club um, from the point of view of recruiting both athletes but also parents and helpers. Um, we started it because coaches were spending more time explaining to parents and youngsters what we did than we were coaching sometimes, particularly after the 2012 announcement came out. So we decided that we needed to see parents with their children, if only once, um, to explain what we did how we did it and what the children will get out of it, but also to speak to the parents about what we wanted from them. Um, we do it once a month on a Thursday night. Um, everybody in the club knows it happens. Every coach knows that on that Thursday night they will be introduced to both parents and new athletes. Um, parents get a 20 minute chat basically about the sort of club they're coming to, um, the events their youngsters will be having coached at. But first of all, we talk to the parents. We explain we're a volunteer base, that everybody's a volunteer and that to run and for their children to be coached and take part, they have to take part. Um, rake a sandpit, man a tea bar, um, help with the team manager's job, um, and that will be asked at least once during the year. Um, and they should expect it. We've put together um, a parent's handbook for the clubs to use and then hand out to the parents to try and encourage them to get involved and show the importance of volunteering and how we are a volunteer sport. Most people are not paid yeah, staff. Okay. So we're here tonight at Lee Valley Athletic Centre for the first McCain Hertfordshire County Athletics Network Coach and Athlete Development Evening. Cathy Walker is the uh, Network Coach Mentor for Hertfordshire and Cathy's just going to tell us a little bit about how we got to Lee Valley this evening. Yes, we ran a coaching evening at um, one of our clubs and invited all the coaches from the county to come along and um, discuss what they wanted out of coach education. Not as opposed to formal coaching courses, what they wanted from the network. And one of my roles and responsibilities is to ensure that the coaches know what they're doing and to arrange to make sure that we can actually progress the athletes through the long-term athlete development uh, within the sport. So what we have initially is we have a, um, a coach that actually runs an induction session for about a 10 10-week uh, 10 program, which then runs into allowing us to actually then assign them within groups to the, the, the main club training session sessions themselves from there. Every region has always been very, very short of officials. And obviously with the increasing of ages within that sector, we're able to generate and target specific groups to actually increase our number of officials. In Hertfordshire, we happen to have an awful lot of um, field events, officials, 
but we're short of track, we're short of starters. So we're able, to, as a group, to sit down and go and talk to the clubs individually about how we're going to develop those officials. You know, without volunteers, there, there, there's no way this sport could run. It's not a wealthy sport. Uh, unfortunately, only if you're competing at the highest level is there any financial rewards. And these people give their time over and over again in the cold, in the, in the rain, in the wind. They're there inspiring the next generation.